Ninth boat, a boat can travel at an optimal speed of 8 kph in still water measured relative to the shore. What is the optimal speed of the ferry relative to the shore if it moves perpendicular to a 6 kilometers per hour current? Okay, so I'll be giving you a minute to solve this and go. Okay, so maybe a minute has elapsed. Let's solve this problem. We have a boat that can travel at an optimal speed of 8 kph in still water. What does that mean? Ano yung ibig sabihin yan? That's what? Uh, you have a boat? Velocity of what yan? Anong velocity yan? Dalawa lang naman yan. Either velocity of the boat relative to the ground or velocity of the boat relative to the water. Ano yan? Ano yan? Or uh, ayaw ng ground, yun. shore na lang pala. Alin yan? Relative to the shore. Is it the relative to the shore talaga? Yun yung tinatanong mo. What, if, what is the optimal speed of the ferry relative to the shore? The answer is, hindi siya relative to the shore, relative to the water yan. Kasi nasa still water ka. Pero mo isipin na ganito, you have, you have a boat that's traveling on water and that's the speed that you want um, in still water. Still water meaning at rest yung tubig. Pero syempre, kapag may current yung tubig, hindi na dapat 8 kilometers per hour lang yung, yung speed mo dyan. So in a way, para kang may diagram dito. As I said, these problems are contextual in nature. So meron kang current na possibly ganito yung direction. Tapos in still water, ganito yung velocity ng boat. Ang tinatanong, ano yung velocity ng um, boat relative to some current? Of course, after some time, dapat, um, dapat mag adjust yung boat. Diba? mag adjust yung, yung boat para ma-compensate ma 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 yung bilis ng current. Kasi otherwise, ang, gagaw, ang mangyayari sa kanya, ang mangyayari sa boat, lili pa rin siya or um, yun, di pa lili pa rin. Kukunin siya ng walk ng current or uh, magiging iba yung direction niya. So it needs to be to, to adjust its, um, its velocity. So dapat, ang direction dapat ng, 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 ng boat mo, hindi pa straight. Para mag straight upward yan, ang velocity dapat niya is pa ganyan. Di ba? Kung ito yung, ito halimbawa yung river. <laughs> river. Pag ganito yung current, ganyan dapat yung direction ng kanyang velocity para hindi para ma-counteract niya yung effect ng current sa kanya. Nakuha in physics ang problem. Gets ba? Gets? Yes. Okay. Now, therefore, BBW, I'll assume a coordinate system such that positive J yung direction ng, ng boat and positive I hat yung direction ng current. So, velocity of the boat relative to the water is simply 8 kph j hat. Whereas velocity ng um, water relative to ground, or relative to the shore, sorry, is simply um, 6 kilometers per hour i hat. Okay? And thus, we have velocity of the boat relative to the water. Um, um, ang hinaharap natin ay velocity ni, um, what, ni boat relative to the shore, which is, we don't want, know that, Velocity of boat relative to the shore is simply velocity of the boat relative to the water plus velocity of the water relative to the shore. Oy! Given na lahat yan! Yeah, hey! So, hindi, na tayo, hindi natin kailangan mag-negate. Kasi ito na lahat yun, no? E di, meron na tayong 8 kph i hat plus 6 kph j hat. E di, yan na yung velocity. Pero ang tinatanong ano yung speed? So, the speed now, para hanapin yung speed, Ano lang yan? Pythagorean theorem. Yes, you use your Pythagorean theorem. Modulus of V, um, magnitude of V, B, S, which is just equal to square root ni, 8 squared plus 6 squared in kph, which is just equal to what? Pythagorean triple yan eh. That's 10 kph. Kaya 10 kph yung sagot. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? None. None. 